are gonna walk you through the installation of the brand new Evolution CTS-3 that's available now for the 2020 through 2023 GM 2500 HD with the 6.6 .6 liter gas. We've been offering uh, the Evolution CTS-3 for the L5P Duramax in this model year truck, but now we've got the 6.6 .6 gas coverage available now as well. So we're gonna start this install off by plugging into our OBD port here under the dash. This is the cable that's included with the device in the box. And then we're gonna plug into the back of our monitor with that HDMI cable. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, power up the truck without starting it. So we're just gonna press and hold that start button for about five seconds and you'll see the dash will turn on, your radio will turn on, all that stuff. That's how you know you've got your full power. Well, obviously we don't have the engine running. Our monitor is gonna power up now. And basically what we're doing is we're getting the vehicle's data from the ECM <clears throat> and putting it into the device so that we can make sure we deliver the calibrations and the ECM unlock uh, information that we need for this specific vehicle. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead and go into our tuning menu that's here in the top left of the device. We're gonna select tuning. And now it's gonna query the vehicle's ECM. We've already updated the device before we plugged in, so we're gonna skip this step. We're gonna go ahead and select tune vehicle. And then this is where it presents us with the different tunes we have available for the truck. We've got everything from an 87 octane, which is our economy tune. We've got 87 octane that's available for the drive tune. And then our performance and our extreme tunes are gonna require you to run 91 um, or 93 octane. So in this particular truck, we're gonna go ahead and install the drive tune, which is for 87 octane. And then we can select uh, some different transmission tunes for this truck as well. So the device does include TCM tuning for your six speed. So it'll give you a lot better uh, drivability, better shift firmness, it really makes a difference if you do a lot of towing with your truck. So we're gonna go ahead and select the transform shift for this application. Now it's gonna read the vehicle's factory data. We're gonna select continue. Now it's gonna try and do an ECM original backup and a TCM original backup. And that's so that the device will be able to save all the factory stuff. So when you wanna return the vehicle to stock, all of the files are saved within the device here. So we can flash it back to the original um, at any time. <clears throat> so this only takes a minute or two. It says there are control units in this vehicle that are currently not supported. An update may be required. Connect your device to the PC and run the update agent client to download the update. So what this is telling us is that the ECM is still locked. So we need to unlock that ECM before we can flash tune it. So the device has saved all the information from the vehicle's modules. We're gonna take this back to our computer and update it. And that will allow our servers to send the files that we need to support this unlock and ECM that's in this particular VIN truck. So we're gonna select continue. We're back to our main menu. So we can go ahead and unplug the device from the truck. And then we're gonna take this monitor in and plug it into our PC where we're gonna update it. So we're gonna go ahead and shut the truck off. And then we'll head to the PC. All right, so now we're here at our computer. If you don't already have our update agent software, you can download it right here at edgeproducts.com. Right here across the top of the page, you'll find the tab that says support. <clears throat> The very first option right here says software updates. And then our very first one that's offered is right here, our update agent 1.0. This is available for Mac or for PC. So you're gonna wanna head, go ahead and download that software if you don't have it already. If you do, then we can move on to the next step, which is opening that software. And then it's asking us to connect our device. So with the USB cable that was included with the device, you're gonna plug one end into your PC, and the other end in to the back of the monitor here. You can see it right here on the, the bottom port. We're gonna go ahead and plug in just like that, and you'll see that the device will power up. We're gonna set that down on the desk here. And then our update agent is actually going to recognize that we've plugged in that new device.
populated the part number that we've got on the device. It's also pulled the serial number. And now it's talking to that device to see if it needs updates. All right, so it does show that there are updates available. We're gonna go ahead and install those now. Select yes. We've already connected to our ECU. Now it's gonna put the stock files into the database and now it's sending our calibrations and unlock sequence for your particular truck into the device. <clears throat> you can see that it's walking through installing those files into the device here. Once it's done with that, the device is going to reboot. All right, now you'll see that update agent has automatically launched our ignition store. That will confirm that the update has been completed. And our ignition store here, this is where we can add on additional purchases to download into the Evolution. So for this particular part number for the 66 gas, the only add-on we have available is an extended warranty. So you obviously get your one-year warranty with the device. Uh, at any time, you can plug in, update the device, and you can go in and add this uh, extended warranty for $39.95 where you just click on that warranty you'd be able to add it to your cart and then it will basically register that with us. But at this point, we're not gonna take any further steps. We're gonna go back to the truck and start with our unlock and do our tuning process now. All right, so we've updated the device. We've delivered the fi files that we need for this particular truck. We're gonna go ahead and connect it back into our OBD port. Just like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and power up the truck again without starting the engine. So we're pressing and holding that start button. All right, truck is powered up. All right, we're gonna go back into that tuning menu. It's just gonna get the vehicle information again to make sure we're plugging back into the same truck we'd started with. We obviously already updated, so we're going to skip that prompt. <clears throat> tune the vehicle. We're going to go back to that drive tune with the firm shift. Select continue. Now that we had the, the, uh, the correct stock files from our database in the device, now it's doing that ECM backup that it skipped that first time. So this is where it's gonna prompt you with the ability to customize the tune. You can do it now before we do the ECM unlock or you can do it after when you are actually flashing the ECM with the tuning. We'll go ahead and do it now by selecting customize. This is gonna populate all the options that you have to go in and change the tune that you selected. So we selected that 87 octane drive tune, which is good for a daily driver, do some towing with it. Um, but we can go in and make some adjustments to that calibration so that it fits your driving um, preferences. So this truck is actually running an aftermarket set of wheels and tires. So we can actually go in, select tires, and we can actually change the tire height so our speedometer reads correctly. The one thing to remember is that we wanna measure that tire height in inches, not just go off of what's printed on the side. Because once it's mounted and balanced and on the truck, very rarely will you find that like a 35 inch tire is actually 35 inches tall. They're normally closer to say 33 and a half. So we're gonna measure the height of the tire and we're gonna input that information here. So this one is going to be a 32.8. Then we're going to select save. And then if you've changed your ring and pinion, changed your gear ratios, you can go into the gears. We're going to go into our limiters. This allows us to disable our speed limiter. We can also change our rev limiter when we are in drive. So we're going to disable the speed limiter. And then in our switches menu, we can go in and remember some of the drive modes. So if you like driving in tow haul, every time you shut the truck off, it's gonna remember that you are in tow haul. That's this feature here. Um, so you've got a couple of different options that you can remember in the vehicle. We'll go ahead and tell it to remember our previous on all of the available. 
And then this is one of the really nice features that a lot of guys really like having in this tuning, the ability to adjust your throttle sensitivity. So these trucks have a lot of built-in pedal lag, that delay in the pedal before you actually start feeling it accelerate. We can actually change that delay so we can make the pedal much more responsive. So it is a much nicer driving experience or stop and go traffic if you're towing a trailer. You can set this anywhere between zero and 50% over stock. So for my personal preference, I feel like a 20 to 25% pedal um, offers really good responsiveness without it being so touchy that it's hard to drive or you get that jerky on off if you're towing. So we're gonna set this one at 25% and select save. Again, at any time, uh, you could drive it like this for a day or two if you feel like it's still got a little too more, too much lag for your preference. You can go in and reflash the tune and up this to a higher percentage. Or if it's too touchy, you can go in and just turn it down um, anytime you flash the tune. And then we also have the ability to adjust your fuel, your spark, your idle, um, and then the, some of the trans features. You can adjust your um, shift strategies just like that. Press up and down if you want your first to second um, RPM in normal you can adjust all of those shift points right here in the, the device so that you can kind of fine tune the way this one drives. So those are all the changes we're gonna make with this truck, the fuel and spark, all that stuff. The truck is all stock, stock intake, stock exhaust. We don't need to make any changes there. Our factory tuning should be really uh, close and if not perfect um, as it is. So we're gonna go ahead and tell it to install. So we're gonna accept and install those changes. And now it's gonna build the file that we just created. So we're taking the pre-calibrated tune that we created. We're gonna apply the changes that you've created in the device itself, and it's gonna build that file. So that, and then it'll save it so that when we're ready to flash that into the truck, it's just a simple press of a couple of buttons. Now the device has just tried to write the flash into the ECM, but it's come up with this um, statement that says the module requires a one-time unlock process in order to accept the tunes. Please install your ECM unlock cable now and then try tuning again to proceed. So this is where we need to actually plug in that uh, included locksmith and the ECM unlock harness on the ECM that's inside the fender well so that we can go through the unlock process. Once that unlock is done, we will never have to go through that again. Anytime we wanna flash the truck after the unlock is completed, it's just doing it through the monitor right here in the cab with the OBD2 port. So we're gonna go ahead and select continue. And the device is gonna power down. We're back to our main menu. So we can go ahead and unplug it our OBD port. And then remember to shut the truck off, turn off the power, and then we're gonna move this device out to our fender well and we're going to remove that inner fender liner so we can get access to the ecm so that we can do those unlock steps next all right so here we are at the fender liner you can see we've got the tire turned so we can get a little better access to that liner there are six torx screws that hold this fender liner and there's two down here at the very bottom and then there's a couple along this edge there's also one tucked up in here and then there's one push pull plastic pin that's in the very top of the liner up at the middle. Once we've got all of those removed, we can basically push this liner back behind that bumper and fender trim. Pull away from the A-arm here. And you'll get your first look at that ECM located right there inside so here's our ECM here now there's those three connectors right there on the ECM you can see on the ECM unlock harness that we've sent you you'll have two connectors and then there's a really long lead that's got a couple of alligator clips on the end of it and those we're gonna run over to the battery that's over on the passenger side of the truck but before we get to that we need to clip or connect this harness into that ECM so that we can get our locksmith installed to do the unlock steps. You can see that the connectors on your harness are color coded. There's one blue and one gray. But we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all three connectors on that ECM. To do so, there's these red retainer clips that you basically need to pop up with your finger now. Pops up really easy. Some of them might be a little more stubborn as they get dirt and debris and that kind of stuff in them. We've got all three of those clips popped up. 
And then right in the center of that connector, you've got to depress a little tab that's in the middle of the connector right above that red keeper. Depress that with your thumb, and then this lever will lift straight up to disengage from the ECM. It'll be hard to see it on the camera, but we're gonna press here in the center with our thumb, and then our fingers can pull that lever all the way up to disengage the connector. Okay. Oops. And then hang it aside. So again, we're gonna depress in the middle with our thumb and lift that lever up. And then we can move on to the last one here. Again, depress with your thumb, lift that lever up all the way to make sure it disengages. All right, so we've got all three connectors unhooked and you can see that those are color coded. The left is the blue, there's a middle black connector and then there's a gray on the inside. So we're gonna take our ECM unlock harness. You can see our color coded connectors. We'll go ahead and connect that gray one to the far connector. Make sure you slide it on all the way and then you're able to slide that lock down and let it click. We are not gonna close that red keeper because we're only gonna have this installed for a couple of minutes. Then we'll take our blue connector, connect it to the blue on the ECM, slide that lever lock down, and then we can go over and connect to our battery. All right, so here we are under the hood of the truck. Um, you can see that we've actually got a battery tender already hooked up to the battery. That's the one thing that we can't stress enough. When you are unlocking these ECMs, we don't want any voltage drop to hit that ECM while we're trying to go through the steps with our device. So it is a really good idea to have a battery charger and be able to hook it up to the truck and just be minding that voltage just so we can make sure that the battery stays fully charged. So we've got our battery charger on the truck and then we can go ahead and connect our unlock harness clips, obviously positive to positive, ground to ground. Once those are connected, make sure it's got a good solid connection. We can move back to the fender liner where we're gonna plug in our Evolution CTS-3 to start the unlock process. All right, so now we're back at that inner fender. The one connection we haven't made yet is here at the ECM unlock harness. And this is where we will plug in our locksmith device, this simple black box. We're gonna plug in that pin connector It'll only go one way, but you do want to make sure that you get it fully seated. You'll hear it click into place, just like that. And then we can take our evolution device, make sure we're plugged into our OBD2, or sorry, our HDMI. And then we're gonna plug in our OBD2 connector into that locksmith, and just make sure we firmly seat it all the way. And you will see that the device will now power up. We obviously are not plugged into our OBD2 port, so it's getting power from that battery connection we made through the locksmith itself. Take just a minute here for the device to power up. Then we're gonna skip this message. We're gonna go back into our tuning menu. Again, it's pulling the vehicle data to make sure we're still at the same truck. You may hear the relay inside our locksmith clicking a couple times. That'll let you know that everything's connected. It tells us that the module is ready to be unlocked and press continue to start the process. Again, you'll hear that relay clicking in the locksmith. So we know that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And now it's gonna walk through the unlock process. This will take um, five, 10 minutes or so, depending on the truck. Um, so at this time, we can basically just set this device down and let it do its thing. So we'll turn the camera off now and we'll pick up when we get to the final state of the unlock. All right, so we've reached our 100% mark of our unlock process. You see this message pop up. It says that our module has been successfully unlocked and we can remove our unlock cable, our locksmith, and our evolution from the ECM, and then we can remove the cables. So we're going to start by unplugging our evolution CTS-3 from the locksmith. We'll disconnect that OBD2 connector. And then we can disconnect the locksmith module from the unlock harness. 
and then we can remove the unlock harness from the vehicle. We'll start by disconnecting our alligator jaws up at the battery. So we'll disconnect from our positive and our negative battery terminals. And now we will remove our two connectors that are on the ECM. Again, you need to depress the center button with your thumb and that will allow the lever to be lifted up to disengage the connector. We can just wiggle it loose from the ECM, set it aside and do the same with the other. Now at this point, we will not use this unlock harness uh, again in the future. So this is a one time unlock process. So everything done moving forward will allow you to flash the vehicle with the evolution from the cab of the truck. Before we get to that step, obviously we need to reconnect all of our factory connectors onto the ECM. You'll notice that they are color coded. They'll only go back together one specific way. Make sure you close that lever and then also lock that red retainer clip so that it can't come disengaged and make a loose connection at any time. We'll get all three of these connectors engaged on the ECM and locked in place and then we can put our fender liner back up and reattach all of the screws and the push pin to get it back into its factory location and we can move into the cab to start our ECM flash process with the preloaded edge calibrations. <laughs> All right, here we are in the cab of the truck. We've completed our unlock process. We're gonna go through and now flash the truck with our tune. So we're gonna press and hold that start button again to get everything to power up without starting the engine. Our monitor will power up here. It's gonna pop up to our main gauge display. You can also see we've got this optional A-pillar mount that's available on our website or through our dealers. The device comes with a suction cup mount standard, but if you do want this vehicle specific arm, they are available for purchase and it goes right into a factory bolt hole on the grab handle. It's a really nice add-on feature. Um, now to go in to our tuning, we're gonna go ahead and swipe up from the bottom of the screen and select tuning in the lower left. <clears throat> now we're gonna go ahead and select tune vehicle right here at the top. Again, we're gonna go into our drive tune, which is for 87 octane. The economy tune is for 87 as well. We've got performance for 91 octane, and then the extreme tune is for 93 octane. And there are some really significant gains uh, in this 6.6 .6 liter gas. So our performance on 91 octane picked up 17 horsepower and 31 foot pound of torque with that 93 octane tune picking up a, a big 28 horsepower and 50 foot pounds of torque. So that is a huge improvement with this truck. Um, it makes it a much broader power band. Um, and then when you uh, pair that with that transmission tuning that we're putting into that six speed trans, it, the power curve just feels so much better. Um, the truck drives better, accelerates your traffic. You'll really feel a difference when you're towing your trailer. Um, you're trying to pass somebody on the freeway. That added torque really makes a big difference in these trucks. So we're gonna go ahead and select that drive tune. We're gonna put the firm shift tune in which is good for a daily driver and towing application. We're gonna go ahead and select to read the vehicle's data. So this is just gonna confirm that we're still working on that same truck that we've had this entire process. It's backing up all of that factory data. Now again, we've customized these already once before, before we did our unlock, but you can go in and confirm. You can go in there and select customize and you can make those changes. Or if there's something that's different, uh, again, you wanna make sure you've measured that tire height if you've changed them. So this says that we've previously made changes. Do we wanna keep those modifications or do you wanna reset or do you wanna change them? So we're gonna go ahead and keep those changes. Again, it's got the drive, the trans firm shift, tire size modified, speed limiter is off. Remember the drive modes. We're setting our throttle booster at 25%. We're gonna accept and install. 
And now the device is gonna start flashing those calibrations into the ECM right here through the OBD port. Again, that unlock process only has to be done once, the very first time we tune the vehicle. So from here on out, anytime we wanna change tunes, we're gonna do it right here at the monitor. You can go into that tuning menu, select the tune that you wanna put in it. You're gonna put some 91 or 93 octane in the tank. You can turn it up to one of the higher levels. Um, and that obviously that higher octane allows us to get a little more aggressive with the, the fueling, the spark advance, timing, that kind of stuff. Make sure that we avoid any uh, knock issues. But for a daily driver, it, uh, the elevation that we're at, the 87 octane tune will work really good for what we're doing. So we're not gonna mess with the performance or the extreme tunes right now. But this will take a couple of minutes to write that tune into the ECM and then it's gonna go ahead and write the transmission tune as well. All right, so it's asking us to turn the ignition off. We're gonna press that button to turn the ignition off. Press the screen. Now let's just turn the ignition back on without starting the engine, so we're gonna press and hold. Press our screen. We'll turn it off one more time here. Turn the ignition back on. So we've completed our ECM flash. Now we're gonna flash the trans tune as well. A um, Couple things worth noting on this Evolution CTS3. Obviously you get your in-cab monitor so you can uh, display a bunch of different features and PIDs that you can't see through your factory dash. Um, you can go in and set that display up to show the things that are most important to you. Um, a couple other things that are nice features within the CTS3. Um, we don't have to do it through the flash itself we can actually do it through just some quick options you have the ability to adjust your tire pressure monitor system so if you've installed a larger set of wheels and tires um, and want to change that pressure lower that pressure so that the ride is a little better um, without having that uh, light on the dash you can go into the device um, and actually lower that tpms threshold so instead of it going off at the factory pressure you can drop that down um, all the way down to 25 PSI. And then you can do that for the front and the rear independently. The device also gives you the ability to uh, um, enable, disable, or reset your intake air filter monitor system. Sometimes that's needed if you change to a different uh, colder intake. And then we can also do a uh, transmission adaptive learn, which is nice with the device. Um, if you ever have funky transmission shifting strategies or anything like that, you can reset that so that it can relearn again. So it's can uh, successfully tune our truck. We can select continue. And now it's gonna load our gauges. We're back to our main menu. Now we're ready to go out and drive. So at this point, we can start the truck up. We can go out uh, and really enjoy that added power, maybe pick up some fuel economy um, and feel how much better that transmission shifts when we're daily driving or towing our trailer. Um, the tuning and that adjustment with that throttle pedal sensitivity uh, really makes a big difference. I mean, you'll notice it the second you pull it out of your driveway, um, how much better the throttle feels and how much better the truck just accelerates. You know, that big, heavy three-quarter ton or one-ton truck with this gas motor, that added torque in the mid-range and that better throttle response is something that you'll really feel um, as you're going down the road. So we really think that you'll appreciate what the Evolution CTS3 can add to this truck. Uh, if you have further questions, you can reach out to our tech support. You can follow us on our social media channels where we'll have some other videos related to the, the product. Um, you can now swipe through the device. You can do your diagnostics changes. So if you ever get a check engine light, this will allow you to read and clear those codes. Obviously, this is where we can adjust our tire pressure and do some other diagnostics with the truck itself. <laughs> this monitor is completely adjustable uh, thousands of different ways you can set it up there's different displays if you swipe to the right there's some presets on the display so you can kind of choose which one works best for you if you want to change the presets that are saved in the device you can swipe down from the top edit the layout and we've got like 23 different uh, gauge displays for you to choose from you can change the background with different wallpapers um, 
There's all sorts of stuff you can do with that CTS-3 device now that you've got it on the dash. Again, if you ever want to change your tunes, you swipe up from the bottom. You've got your tuning menu there. We can go into our settings. We can also do performance tests. So if you ever want to check your zero to 60 times, quarter mile times, anything like that, the device will allow you to do that right here. So uh, we look forward to hearing your feedback on this new 6.6 .6 liter gas tuning. Um, and please reach out to us on social media if you have questions um, or leave a review on the website after you purchase the device. We love getting feedback so we know uh, how we're doing out in the field, if there's anything we can do better. Um, but if you have questions, please feel free to reach out.